Hi you guys, welcome to my channel. This is my first video on this channel, so definitely let me know what you think at the end of it. But yeah, this is how I do my sleep bun, so let's just get right into it. First thing you wanna do is wet your hair. As you can see, I'm doing my part down the middle, but you could part your hair wherever you'd like. You could part it on the side or in the middle, what, whatever works best for you. going to use these clips here or you can use a hairband and you just want to tie up each section so you can work with the individual sections. On naturally curly hair like mine I'm about a 3C. Um, you definitely want to try to get into each section and get the roots wet so that when you slick your hair back it's flat to your head. So you can see I'm just working my way around with the water. Next I'm going to hydrate with a little bit of oil. This is a healing and repair oil from Shea Moisture's line. I love Shea Moisture. So I'm just gonna work that through my hair from roots to tip, tip to root. You just wanna get it you know, nice and saturated with this oil, especially because your hair is going to be tied back for maybe a couple of days. At least I leave my hair tied back for a couple of days. Next, I take my bristle brush. It's a strong bristle brush and I sleep my hair back and then tie that section up. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. All right, so now that that's finished and you've got both of your sides kind of already in shape, you want to tie your hair back. As you can see, I'm using the brush to get the hairs back. This step, you're basically just forming your hair into the bun. So you want to shape your hair, make sure you're getting it very sleek. I haven't used any gel yet, but this is the Eco Styler gel. It's olive oil based and it's not alcohol based, so it won't dry your hair out. I absolutely love this stuff. It's like number one, like my number one go-to product. I love it, love it, love it. So I put that in my hair and I'm going to now use my brush to really detail my hair out, make sure every hair is laying flat to my head. As you can see, I'm tying my hair back again. So you're probably thinking, why would I do this? But when you're brushing your hair back into the first ponytail, you're gonna notice that you have some loose hairs on the end. So just to make sure that it's sleek and chic, you're going to brush it back twice. And you wanna tie this hairband as tight as it can go, especially with us big haired girls, you gotta get that hair tight. I'm gonna use another hairband and tie it back again just to ensure that it's tight and secure. And I just broke it. Y'all know the struggle. I'm sure you, everyone knows the struggle of breaking these hairbands. So yeah, tie your hair back again. Now this is crucial. This is a crucial step. Take two pieces, section your hair off into two areas and then pull it in the opposite direction. This ensures that your bun is tight, it's to your head, and any of the loose gaps or places that's there are going to be removed. Now I'm just going back in and detailing my hair out again with some more gel. Um, you can use an edge brush or whatever works for you, but I use a toothbrush. You can skip this step if you want, but I'm using a donut just for a sleeker look. You could definitely just tie your hair back or do a regular bun, but I'm using the donut just, again, to give it a sleek look. So you pull the bun, the donut, over your ponytail holder like you would a hairband. Use another hairband to form the donut, form your hair around the donut. Spray your ends so that they are wet and will work with you when you're trying to push it underneath the bun. I use bobby pins to pin my hair down and make sure that everything is secure and it's not, there aren't any hairs sticking out. 
because we don't want that. We want it to be as smooth and sleek as possible. So keep working with your bun until you get it to your desired state. And now it's time for the scarf. If you don't have a scarf, I would recommend getting a scarf. The scarf helps you just to lay your hair down flat. It's gonna help your hair to dry and it's gonna hold everything in place while it's drying, which is how you get your hair sleek. And this is basically it. Now you're just gonna let it dry. You can finish your makeup, get dressed, do whatever you need to do. Yes, sir. That's her. But it wasn't like that back when I met her. Yes, sir. That's her. But it wasn't like that back when I met her. Yes, sir. All right, so now that your hair is nice and dry, you want to take it off and see how things are looking. You may have a few pieces of stray hairs hanging out. You just want to go back in with some of your Eco Styler gel or whatever gel you're using and lay those edges, lay the hairs, lay everything. Make sure it is just laid. You can definitely leave your scarf on for longer. I use left mine on for about maybe 15 minutes. The longer you leave it on, the better. But as you can see, you went from poofy to sleek and laid down. And you're looking good, girl. That's her, but it wasn't like that back when I met her. Yes, sir. That's her, but it wasn't like that back when I met her. Yes, sir. That's her, but it wasn't like that back when I met her. Yes, sir. That's her, but it wasn't like All right, you guys. So that's it. That's how I create my sleek bun and get my hair from poofy to tied back nice and tight. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. And if you could just like, comment, and subscribe. Just let me know what you guys think, okay? So I'll see you in my next video. Yeah.